So just a little uh, spoiler alert before we start this vlog. Just wanted to say this is quite possibly uh, a log of one of the best photo shooters I've ever had. And I think I have captured possibly one of the best woodland shots, certainly best blue bow images I've ever taken. And um, this video is going to be split into two parts. So at the end of this video, I will show uh, one of the images I took after this vlog finished, um, which you can see in the future. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it into next week's video or I might put another vlog I've got um, in the backlog in between. But uh, yeah, at the end of this video, there will be another a shot from next week, from ne part two of this uh, this shoot. Um, just what an incredible, incredible morning! And uh, yeah, I just don't know what else to say. So I really hope you like the video. Um, I really like you hope my shot, like my shots. And uh, yeah, thank you in advance for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, I have to apologise straight off the bat that um, I haven't filmed too much B-roll just because it, the car park was just ridiculous. Um, so I haven't filmed too much B-roll up to this point. Plus, I'm under the cosh a little bit. The sun is starting to come up through the uh, through the tree canopy. Uh, it's just very beautiful in the morning. In the mor here in the morning, it's very um, atmospheric. There was a bit of mist, and uh, I've sort of changed my plan slightly as well. I've come to an old shot that I've taken years ago. I put it up on the screen now, so you can see. Uh, but it's just not going to work this time. The uh, tree isn't quite ready yet so I've had to sort of scramble around to try and find a composition um, uh, I do like what I've got uh, but n it's not the best it's um, it's the best of a rust situation and it really highlights the importance of uh, giving yourself as much time I was up early but not early enough Never mind. I'm just trying to be very cautious of where I'm walking. I'm walking in the, t in the old tyre tracks. I'm not trying not to stand on the bluebells um, for obvious reasons. Uh, yeah, if you haven't heard of Nature First, uh, myself and Paul Thompson are advocates for the UK. Um, so yeah, leaving no trace and trying to respect the land that we photograph instead of the photograph is kind of um, a big priority for me. So yeah, I'm trying not to uh, disrupt the vegetation too much. I'm trying to stick to the path, or like I said, an old tyre track where... So yeah, that does complicate the co uh, or limit my options slightly uh, because I don't really want to veer off. I don't want, I'm not going to veer off into a, th a field of uh, a meadow of bluebells. Let's just, I'll bring you over and I'll talk you exactly through why I've um, decided to shoot this. So I hope you can see what I'm trying to do <laughs> here. Um, obviously I'm framing up this, uh, this tree here and the colours are just absolutely stunning. It's very still as well at the moment so I'm very lucky. Um, I'm just going to keep taking shots as I talk you through what I'm doing. My histogram is bang in the middle. Um, F11 focusing on this tree and I'm getting these two trees here in in focus and then and then it starts to fall off around two seconds and because it's very still I'm getting away with two seconds um, focus manually like I always do and you can just see it's pin sharp all around losing a little bit of depth down here, I'm probably going to crop some of that out if I'm honest, probably crop it along here, or well, I'm up my aperture, sort of f13, but I'm governed a little bit by the shutter speed, uh, it's still, but I don't want to push my luck with uh, with the movement in this in this tree, so, so yeah, it's a, it's a nice image, and the bluebells do help, I just wish there was bluebells in and around this foreground. Uh, the beggars can't be choosers.
I literally could not give a tiny rat's ass if I don't get another shot. This is one of their moments where I'm just so glad to be alive. <laughs> now I know that sounds a bit dramatic, but if you could see what I am seeing down here, ah, oh, may we. Absolutely stunning. I've just got, this, this shot just offers so much. And now that the light is changing, it's, the light's sort of sweeping through as layers in my shot. Got a lovely beech tree with a bit of silver on it. A tree on the left with some nice little spurs, some green, green, uh, new, new green spurs and shoots with leaf, leaves. And then, then, then there's a series of trees down, disappearing down the, into the like a like a valley. So the sky is eliminated. There's a valley in behind, which is obviously eliminating all my sky. And then uh, I've just got mist, real faint mist, which is creating this awesome atmosphere. And and now I've got these streaks of light, which is lighting up a carpet of bluebells because I'm shooting with a long lens. I'm eliminating everything that's in front of me down here. Um, so it's sort of compressing them bluebells and making them look even more thick, thicker than they are. It's, and now I'm just I'm just taking hundreds of shots of the same. And if I'm honest, this was luck spotting this. But then it wasn't because I got out of bed at half four. I got wet feet. I've been ducking and diving the bluebells, and I've just come across this amazing scene. My histogram is humped right in the middle because the scene is very, because of the atmosphere and it's very, it's very muted other than them highlights. And because of the fog, it's given that glow all across the frame, that sort of warm glow with the cool blue, but ah, oh, and the green. And what can I say? Other than I'll come around here and I'll show you what I'm on about. So as you can see, I'm still taking shots. <laughs> it's, the scene just gets better and better. This is the tree I was on about. That uh, is my main sort of first entry point to the image. This is a secondary tree with the, with, the, uh, with the new growth on. And then there's these trees in the distance. And obviously the valley dips and bluebells dip down lower as they go further away from my lens. And then in the background I've got uh, another hillside which is obviously covered in mist and I'm just shooting the sh** out of this you can see my histograms bang in the middle uh, F16 I'm focused down on this tree here now I've done that because I want everything sharp if I focus on here to be fair in F16 it still would be sharp but for some reason I want this to be absolutely murder sharp and, uh, so what, that's why I focused there and in F16 I'm getting front to back sharpness. Now I want front to back sharpness because I want these areas here around the outside. In F16 this lens, 70-200 lens, is at its sharpest. It's perfect F16. Um, and I want the whole, the whole, all my boundaries sharp as well as not just the depth of field. So. F16 gives me these, this nice corner sharpness. Eighth of a second, doesn't really matter. I've got, again, I got so lucky, it's very still. And I'm just shooting shooting the light rolling in and out. Uh, it is obviously going to get harsher the longer I stay here. But I'm just going to keep going. And then what I'll do is these little shafts of light which come through my shot, I'll just pick, I'll just pick some. Pick, pick one that I like. I mean, um, yeah, it's, this is just, this is going to be an absolute doddle to edit in Photoshop. It is still, still kicking off behind me. 
just when you think the light is getting too harsh, it sort of softens and the, and the fog, because the sun is, there's not that much heat in the sun, it's quite, it was quite a slow sunrise, if that makes sense. It's not burning off the mist as quickly as I thought it would. And I've just got some nice trees being lit up higher up in my shot now. So, this is again, this is the importance of, and I, I mentioned it earlier in the vlog about getting up early, and I did get lucky with this shot, but I'm still here. It's now, it's only half six. Uh, I was actually in the woods for around quarter past, quarter, no, that's a lie, quarter to six. So, unless I got here at that time, chances are I might not have seen this, but even if I had, that sun would have been too high, like it's getting now. And, and that is that is the, the harsh realities, that is the short window. Um, if you want these conditions, you know, don't get me wrong, you can shoot right through the day. And later on today, I've got a shoot with, um, I've got a photo photographs from kids. Um, actually, they are family members. And um, at three o'clock, and it's going to be very harsh, and that's going to open up its own obstacles. Uh, uh, the children aside, <laughs> um, but for landscapes like this, and plus, who doesn't want to be here? Look, just listen. All I can hear is birds and bluebells. I can see bluebells, feel the atmosphere, and I'm capturing it on my camera. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to be any other place other than here right now. And that says a lot because I used to live in Cornwall, so and take what you want from that. I honestly just don't know what to say. Just look at it down here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that tree there. It's just, the light is just absolutely insane. I haven't had a light like this in years. Absolute years. It's not just the light, it's the conditions. I literally haven't moved for half an hour. I probably took 20 exposures of the exact same image. 21. <laughs> It's just, I could just be, a, I could just, uh, I'm really trying to relish the moment, I'm trying to savour the moment. And what's better is, that car park was jammed this morning, and now, I, now other than there's a couple over there, they're looking at me very strange, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> there's no one here. I've just got this scene all to myself, this section of woods all to myself. And bar my feet being wet, I'm really wet. I literally could not give a monkey's. And it just keeps getting better and better. The sun is very harsh now. Um, you can probably see a little bit of my face, it's, it, it looks probably more normal to you, uh, more softer to you because I've cranked down the. Uh, the shut speed made the shut speed quite nice and fast because I like my my video to be a bit more simplified. Um, it is a lot brighter than it looks on here. Um, and now I'm getting now I'm getting light way down, like way down in the distance now, as well as in the front, and it's still fairly soft. So I'm around 0.8 of a second ISO 100. Still an F16, I've still focused on that, that tree with the leaves on. I have checked focus a thousand times and I am getting the depth of field that I want. Uh, focusing there. Um, some people might say, well, you're not focusing on the tree on the right and just letting, letting the F16 do its thing. Well, I'm kind, I am doing that. I'm just focusing slightly forward uh, to help me guarantee a bit more sharpness in the far distance. This image is just, it's just the one that keeps giving. I've been here probably 45 minutes and I haven't moved. <laughs> um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to end the video here. Uh, thank you so much for watching and 
sorry it's a little bit of a shorter shorter vlog but these bluebells and the way the light is um, it's hard to film everything and get more than one shot so uh, I hope you like this shot I hope this shot turns out like it did, like I think it can in this situation now um, I'm pretty sure it will and if you are interested in woodland workshops then my website is photoninjaphotography.com uh, I'll put the links down below uh, I know this particular woods like the back of my hand um, and just in bluebell season it is just there's nothing like it it's uh, predominantly beach beach woodland um, so it's very green in summer and very dead in winter uh, but like I said it's bluebells, wild garlic um, uh, yeah so if you are interested in a one-to-one -one or small group maybe two or three people um, click the link down below and uh, fill out my page and we'll get you booked in right I'm gonna finish off this uh, this scene and then I'm gonna walk off back to the car and who knows uh, I might take another image or two um, yeah I hope you have a good Sunday and I will see you next week for uh, Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to beat this. <laughs> Ciao. So as you can see from this image, you can see why I was so excited uh, in the in the video. I do hope that came across in the video. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really the sort of, I'm not really the sort of person to be jumping up and down, but I was I just couldn't contain myself. You can see the tree here. The tree on the right is just the silver tree and the composition just works perfectly in my opinion and the conditions and the light I had and uh, I hope you can see why I chose F16 as well um, and what the reasoning behind why I wanted everything sharp um, it wasn't one of them shots where an artist shot it was a it was a shot that warranted everything in in sharp focus in my opinion front to back because we had them conditions which softened it naturally uh, I think if this image wasn't sharp front to back it wouldn't work as well um, so yeah it's in my opinion this is one of the best images I've taken um, full stop certainly the best bluebell image I've taken um, I'm very proud of this one and uh, let me know down in the comments down below I would really like your feedback and if you are interested in any prints or anything like that I will be doing a print run of this um, so just head to my website or message me via one of my social medias and we'll get a print sorted out for you uh, so yeah once again thank you so much for watching um, and I will see you next week uh, please consider subscribing it's a massive help and uh, hit that sub that like button which really helps the YouTube algorithm uh, for my next video so uh, yeah thank you so much for watching hope you have a really good Sunday and I will see you next week. Ciao.